my channel today we are in my insect part of my room um i have multiple different tanks with different um roaches and things like that in it uh this is my colony tank um it has different animals in it's very naturalistic um the animals i think come from different parts of the world some of them i th i think that most of them are from africa um, or an African country but they all have very similar um, needs and wants and all that kind of stuff so everything that I have in this tank um, was bought from um, different retailers around the country uh, nothing here was wild caught that I know of um, as far as I know everything was bred in captivity you have to excuse me i have a bit of a cold at the minute and that is why my video is a bit late yeah but anyway this is my um lovely tank of multiple different creatures who i'm going to introduce you to now so the first creature in this tank who is usually hidden but i found him just for today's video uh he normally goes into the soil underneath um but oh i don't know if it's a he <laughs> i'm just <laughs> saying he but he is out today and curled up in a ball and he just died me thank you very much i love being purple um and yes it is yellow at the moment but it does turn purple after a little while there we go i will wash my hand in a second it doesn't give uh, affect me in any way so some people might be allergic to it but i'm not and this is my um, giant Garnon millipede. Um, I can't remember the specific name for this millipede at all. Um, I did get told it when I bought him, but to be honest, he was a pet. I wasn't really that bothered. I just thought he was really pretty. I knew what he needed and um, what to take care of him because they told me when I bought him. And I just absolutely adore these. Unfortunately, he's not coming out. He will in a minute, maybe. The yellow stuff that they um, put out actually has quite a, sm a strong smell um, and in a few minutes I will show you it, my hand will be purple by the end of this video. Um, it does have quite a strong smell but it's not majorly unpleasant, it's kind of like a lemony smell, um, kind of similar to one of the other animals I'm going to show you in a minute. Um, but as you can see, I'll do a close up, I'll even put him down in a minute and do a proper close up but um, as you can see, he is like a greeny tinge with like brown. Um, and he is just one of the prettiest millipedes that I've seen. I absolutely love him. There is one other millipede in this tank. Um, as far as I know, it's a chocolate millipede. I was bought, I, I was sold it as a, um, giant, uh, African train millipede. Uh, but it's not, it's a hundred percent not. Um, I've had it for about three years and it's only ever grown about this big. So unfortunately he is definitely not a train millipede. I'll be back in a minute. I am just going to wash my hands. Right, so I'm back. I've washed my hands. Um, as you can see, there's still yellow staining on my hands. So the next animal, I had um, a video on my Wild Wales Willia channel. Um, and it is called Pachnoda Marginata. Um, it is a sun beetle and I got given these by a guy who hatched them uh, One of them was still in the cocoon when I got them Unfortunately when it came out it had something wrong with its wings um, They were like not they wouldn't go under the shell. Uh, I don't know if it just dried out too fast. I'm not sure But unfortunately it didn't last very long. The others are all in here somewhere that they they hide very well um, And I can't find them <laughs> But they are in there I see them come out at night time sometimes. Sorry, as you can see, I'm in a different outfit for this part of the video. Um, 
I spent ages yesterday filming the rest of this video and went to go and use the footage and unfortunately it was all gone. It uh, turns out that my camera is only set to record 10 minutes, which I didn't realise. So I'm going to have to put that back to uh, setting, different settings. Um, but I am back. I'm going to show you the rest of the animals in this tank. And uh, yeah, sorry I'm in a different outfit for this part of the video. So the next animal in this tank is these um, hissing cockroaches. They're from Madagascar and they are quite large animals. Um, this one is not by far, uh, by far not my biggest one, um, but it is a male and the males get bigger than the females. Um, this one unfortunately is not going to hiss for me today so I could show you but I will try and get the other one in a minute. And I will show you the differences between the males and females. So this is a male. As you can see his horns on his head um uh, very pronounced the females however do not have these they have quite flat heads they do have little bumps where the horns could, are on a male but they are not um pronounced as the male another creature we have within this sit setup is a breeding colony of woodlice these are uh, native to the uk and I will show you in a later video how I got these. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, it wasn't very long or informative, but it's just an introduction to that tank. I will be making more in-depth videos on each of these animals shortly. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like this video for more. And I will see you again very soon. Bye!